Hello. Hey. Right, so we're currently in Melbourne and we're staying in a big old factory, a big warehouse here. Now we've been on the road for how long? Uh, a couple of months. A couple of months and I haven't done any filming at all. So I thought I'd decide to film a little journey from Melbourne to Adelaide, hey? So we're gonna spend maybe two or three nights along the side of the road and uh, make a bit of a vlog out of it. What are we doing now? Dishes? Doing the dishes. This is how we do our dishes. You gotta heat up the water. Tell tell everyone how we do it. So you gotta heat up the water and then we've got liquid concentrate, which we put in. Got my gloves, and then we wash it in this little basin here. Which is pretty cool because it like folds down as well. Everything's about space saving here, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so we're pretty much packing up now and then we're going to hit the road and we've, we've got our first camp, it's only maybe two hours out of Melbourne, so which we got from Wiki Camps. So everyone uses the app when they go camping, it's called Wiki Camps and this pretty much tells you where all the paid campsites are, all free on the side of the road campsite. So it's just one of them, so get this thing packed up and hit the road. in the hot seat. I swear you've been doing more driving than me on this trip. I don't blame it to be honest. So we're going to uh, just a campsite outside of Melbourne. So we're coming down this highway. I don't know what it is. And then this place near Ballon. Somewhere in there is where we're going to find a camp. There's a little track that goes off the highway into this state forest somewhere. This bit here. The, uh, oh, I can't even read that. Bangal State Forest somewhere in there. That's where we're planning to get to today, so we'll be at camp soon, so things should work out. And we've got a little surprise, as you probably tell by the title of this video, a bit of a secret that we're going to be talking about to maybe tonight or tomorrow night, so we'll tell you what's going on in a sec. You don't even know what I'm going to tell them. No, what's your secret? I don't know, that, that whole time I was zoomed in. There we go. So we just pulled up at a campsite in Ballarat, Melbourne. Uh, looks pretty nice actually. Heaps of firewood, yeah, <laughs> which lots. is a first for us. <laughs> lots of firework. Walk let's see, let's see, see if Sam can actually make a fire tonight because he hasn't hasn't made one yet. Well I have, but they just haven't been very good. <laughs> they just don't last as long. No, Ten minutes max. We're not max. going over here, there's nowhere to camp. <laughs> I want to go up there. So some of the things you got to think about when having a rooftop tent is where you're going to park the car. You don't want the car on an angle because then you're going to be sleeping lopsided um, or head facing down. So one thing that we've always got to make sure is that it's leveled or flat or we're on a bit of an angle so our head can sit at the top rather than the bottom. So at every stop I try and get four from the floor. And that's just four pieces of rubbish or plastic from the ground campsites and all the stops and everything. And we just chuck it in our bin. I reckon that's us. You say where the fire's going to go and I'll make one. Or maybe you make the fire tonight. You maybe think I, I can't. should make the fire tonight. You should because I can't do fires. I don't know why. <laughs> I haven't even started and I've already been kicked out from doing the fire. <laughs> you can't do it mate. Taken over already. Show you how it's done. Let's see how you go with this then. You've got plenty of firewood. 
Um, no, <laughs> no, this is my fire. Why do you always have to? You're gonna burn your can. Okay, take it away, take it away now. Keep it away from our fuel tanks and gas bottles. Wow. <laughs> away from the GoPro. <laughs> well, the fire's been started without my help, so you've done kind of good. The next day. <laughs> we got pancakes for brekkie this morning. So another thing I love about the Coleman cooker is that hot plate. First time I've used it, actually. And... I'm making baked beans on the fire. Yes, nice smoked beans. They're ready, but I can't get it off the fire. These will get them. So we've just left Melbourne and it's already warm as t-shirts and singlet and I've just dropped these new singlets. So they've gone on the website now, different logo on the front and what does it say? Everything built, everything off road? Yep. Something like that. <laughs> So uh, they're for the four wheel drive show. So if you don't know, go on the Perth and Adelaide four wheel drive show coming up. So either of those shows, you can use the code BNB when you grab your tickets to save some money as well. So I'll drop a link down for that and um, you can grab a new singlet. And we're back in stock for the hoodies for the show as well. So that'll be coming up soon. And this is what we got for brekkie. So we got scrambled eggs with some spinach, baked beans, which was cooked on the fire back there, and some pancakes. Yum. Woken up by dirt bikes, two packs of dirt bikes came through, so it's a good place for riding, obviously. Oh, a bit of mud! Got some mud. So we just rocked up with a servo to fill up, and uh, I've realised the uh, cap, the fuel filler cap, I left at the last servo because we went to what BP and they said our number plate wouldn't read, so I told them to stick it, and we've come to another one, and the cap's I left it on the tyre and I drove off. So can you go to Super Cheap just there and buy one the same as this back one? So it rained the first time I did this whole trip. And the first thing Anna says is your wiper blades are shit. So well overdue. They've still got red dust on them from when they were... It used to be an ex-mining car, this car. So still got the red dust all over it. And I've been meaning to do this for about two years. Terrible. Wipers aren't summer. cheap, you know. These are like 40 bucks each. Now, there's, yeah. a, there's a way you do these. You're meant to run them dry for a few minutes and it puts a layer, a film of water retardant on it. That's what we need to do. So lucky it's not raining now. There we go, that easy. It's definitely not raining. <laughs> economy for a good because we tend to find that this is a six speed this new auto hold on what are we at all god we tend to find the economy is a bit better in fifth but it's a lot noisier and then we go into six and it quietens down a bit but it's a bit more labor on the engine and uh, it actually uses more fuel so and i can tell that by looking at all these gauges a lot of people ask about the gauges that are on i can't really see but there's throttle percentage there and then um I can see that around just under 30% throttle is where we get a bit of economy. And then I've also got some temperatures, water temp, intake temps, which are pretty high because we're sitting on boost at the moment. You're driving like a maniac. We find we're probably getting about 25 litres per hundred at the moment. So that's what we're doing. And that is towing a trailer as well. So it's good for what it is. It's finally time to talk about what the title of this video is about, which I didn't give away 
which state we're moving to. Is my hair okay? Yeah, your hair's fine, I don't know. Is my hair okay? <laughs> we are moving to the Sunshine Coast. Ah. Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've been in WA like all my life. Same. And doing the four wheel <laughs> driving stuff, I've seen a lot of it, done a lot of it. And even before I even started YouTube, see the cool thing is like, both of us individually wanted to go there regardless. Like before I even met Anna, straight after I finished uni, I was trying to find some work over there so I could go and explore before I had anything to do with videos, YouTube. And now it's at that point where life's kind of gone over its cycle and I'm at a stage where I can relocate because I kind of got caught up in work and everything but now I was happy to move and then I don't know who said it first I don't know I just mentioned it to Anna and then she was like oh I want to do the same thing so it worked good. Earlier this year I actually did a trip to Sunshine Coast for about a month um, in February and March and had the most amazing time and when I got back, uh, the first thing I said to Sam was, I want to go back and I think I want to live there. And he obviously already wanted to go there. So we love the weather over there. We love all the outdoor stuff that we can do. September, it's currently yeah. September and we're doing this tour over east. So come November, we'll be back in Perth after the whole tour. Christmas at home and then probably Jan, Feb sometime, we'll be um, doing the drive over. We're going to do a bit of a trip as well, like go through this through the center, see Ayers Rock. Go up to Cairns. Yeah, mate. She, she's like, let's go to Cairns on the way. I'm like, it's not really on the way. So <laughs> we'll go to Queensland, drop the trailer off, probably head up straight up to Cape York. Yeah, and go Daintree. See the... I've been wanting to go to Daintree yeah. for like three years. Ever since I've known Sam, I've been asking him to take me to Daintree. And this old thing here hasn't been ready. Yeah, so we'll do that. <laughs> we'll go up, see Cape York and everything pretty soon as we get there. So the plans with the channel is going to be a lot more trips around that way. Um, and then obviously there'll be heaps more opportunity for collaboration. So Matt from Explore, we'll do some stuff with him. Sick Puppy 4x4, you guys have been asking for it for so long. And I know they're up in Townsville, so we're going to try and get some stuff together. Um, do some more like challenge adventure type stuff because they're absolutely crazy, those boys. So that's it. We'll get back to this little vlog video of sort of the last few days well actually we've got another day we're going to where are we going tomorrow that german hand 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 off hand off no, so everyone recommends it so we're going to go check that out tomorrow german town and that'll probably wrap up this video so we'll end it there and uh enjoy the next few minutes but that was our surprise we're coming for Hi. you queensland <laughs> oh it wasn't recording the whole t no i'm joking We finally made it to Handoff, which is busy, and it's a German town, and it looks like that. But we have to park all the way up some side street because we've got the trailer on, and it's just, it's a Sunday today, so it's pretty, uh, pretty busy. So we saw how many sausage places? Hundreds of them. <laughs> Hundreds of sausage places, and also I'm keen to find some ice cream, but I don't know if that's a German thing. All right. People everywhere. Let's see what we find. Your tasties <laughs> will be will be famous. Will be on the what? movies. That's <laughs> right. My favourite caramel, yeah. cherry ripe, apricot and almond, cappuccino, <laughs> or Bailey's. Oh, the cherry. Cherry one. for you, Bailey's and cherry. Yeah. Okay. Good combo. Uh, I do the Bailey's first because that is our creamiest. <laughs> Yeah, just for sure. And sweet coffee. Thank you. So that's the official German hot dog. hot dog now we're looking for ice cream but Anna wants waffles, waffles so we're searching for a waffle with header. ice cream oh yeah I reckon that place on the corner would have something like that 
What? He's a, got a massive, yeah, a massive ice cream, ice cream cone. Out the front. They'll have it waffles on the side. Have waffles. <laughs> All right, guys, that's been a sort of last two, three day little vlog of our trip. And, of course, we're going to Queensland, so I'm pretty excited to get over there. Uh, we're at the moment, we're in South Australia. Make sure, guys, I'm going to be at the Adelaide Fall Drive Show on the 26th of October. And then at the Perth Fall Drive Show, which I think is like the 8th, 9th, and 10th of November, I think. Uh, either of those shows, use the code BNB to save some bucks when you get some tickets online. Uh, also, Show Your Dirt will be happening in Adelaide on the 26th, same time as Fall Drive Show just after the event and then Perth on the 2nd of November. So it's a lot to remember, but I'll drop it all down in the description below. Make sure you come along to those events. I'll see you guys there. I'll be back in Perth pretty soon and then straight over to Queensland. Peace out. Peace out. You know how. They say the definition of subscribe is to arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance. Please arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance by clicking the button below.